I forgot to put on my humidifier last night, so I'm trying to get some last minute moisture. snowing outside. We've had such a mild winter in Chicago, but the past week it started snowing and then it hasn't been sticking, but I woke up this morning and it's so gorgeous outside. I'll show you guys later downtown. The snow literally makes me so happy because at this point I've been in this area for about five years, so the cold weather doesn't bother me as much, but my opinion is that if it's cold, I'd rather there be snow so that there's something pretty to look at instead of it just being 20 degrees and miserable for no reason, but that's just my opinion. I'm so sad because I'm out of my moisturizer and my skin gets so dry in the winter so I'm trying to get the last bit of it out before I put on my makeup. I have a half day at work today because it's the second day of my co-location. Most of my team lives in California but our headquarters are in Chicago so we're having this team meeting this week to go over like 2023 goals and kind of reevaluate the business and everything. Everyone's flying out around 2 p.m. today so it means it's a short day which is nice because last night we were we were out on the town. I left my apartment at 8 30 and i didn't get back till 10 30 so i was gone over 12 hours i was kind of thinking i'd be back around 8 30 but then no one's ever here and we wanted to get dinner and it was honestly so much fun i had a really good time it's just nice to get to know my team in person because i have never met them before and i've been working with this team for six months and i feel like it's just so much easier to talk to people in person and you know pick up cues and just have natural conversations so i was really excited about that yeah i don't even think i introduced myself but hi i'm Lucia. If you're new here, I'm 23. I live in Chicago and I work a nine to five in marketing specifically the analytics side of marketing So that's the job I was talking about I finally got the super goo glow screen and I love it. I can see why everyone's obsessed I feel like it gives me a really good glow. My neighbors are so loud and it always scares the shit out of me I swear they are like constructing furniture every single night at 1 a.m. I'm like, what could you possibly be doing? I recently got a bunch of new makeup and I feel like a trendy tiktok girl Got the white under the eye eyeliner. Someone actually complimented me on it yesterday at work. My company is actually a lot of older people, so I'm one of the younger people. There's a few other young people, but they're not on my team. Like the majority of everyone at my company is, I would say, 10 plus years older than me. So there's definitely a generational gap because I feel like I'm the first of Gen Z to enter the workforce. So I bet some people were probably like, why do you have white eyeliner under your eye? I feel like I do have a lot of millennial tendencies though there's this thing on tiktok right now called the millennial pause and i totally do that it's basically whenever you start recording and then you pause to make sure it's recording and then you talk but i've never been more called out in my life so now i make a point to cut out my millennial pause if i'm posting something on tiktok also just hit me that this is my last day of work for the week because i'm going skiing i leave tomorrow but tomorrow night which really feels like it's in two days because i have tomorrow day to pack and everything and packing for a ski trip is gonna be interesting. One thing with going in the office and just not working remotely anymore, well, I mean, my job is still basically remote, but one thing about going into the office is I never know how to greet people, like if I should hug them or give them a handshake. And honestly, it stresses me out way more than it should. There's so many times yesterday where I had just a very awkward pause in between someone probably wanting to give me a hug, but me not initiating because literally on the first thing I ever went to in the corporate world, I started my job two days before and then my company had this half happy hour and I was meeting my boss who was a guy at the time and I just thought it was natural to like go in for the hug but he like aggressively was like no handshake and I literally died ever since then I feel like I have PTSD it's a joke you know what I mean but ever since then I feel like I am never the first one to go in for the hug unless it's like a girl around my age because I know that's the typical rapport but if it's anyone else even just like a woman that's older than me I wait for them to initiate the hug because I do not want to have that 
embarrassment again so yeah i feel like that just kind of depends on your company culture i don't know what y'all's company is like or if you've had any situations like that but let me know if i'm not the only one i feel like it's such a weird balance because i want to respect people's boundaries but i also don't want to come off as like cold or rude or anything and being the youngest person in the room most of the time i just feel comfortable with the other person making that decision for me i literally love makeup i start accutane in how many days is it now i still have over two weeks so i'm honestly getting kind of nervous about it I'm going to the gi doctor i think next week for a celiac update, I just know that a lot of the bad side effects have to do with gastrointestinal health. Not to get too into like all of the medical stuff, but I think I'm still gonna do it. We'll definitely keep you guys updated if anything changes, but as of now, still doing Accutane. I got this new blush from Rare Beauty. I've never used a liquid blush before. It takes me forever to blend. Yeah, it literally takes me an hour to blend this. But I really like the end result because it feels more natural and I like, I like the liquid. Oh, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. It's also liquid. I don't know if you guys were following the Tarte Dubai trip, but I just found all of the discourse around that so interesting This is why I need a podcast like I want to always talk about those sort of things If you don't know there was basically a lot of backlash about the trip because I think they spent at least a million dollars on first class flights for all these influencers to go to Dubai and they also got them a bunch of free stuff although I feel like a lot of that stuff they got for free like I feel like they had a partnership with Dubai Tourism you know, all of the clothing brands that were providing the clothes like I feel like they sent it for free I just I don't think Tarte really spent that much money on the trip and I honestly feel like for influencer marketing with all of these top influencers it can get so expensive I honestly feel like for the amount that those influencers were posting about Tarte it is a good bang for their buck because most of the people that they brought on that trip literally charge a hundred thousand dollars per post which i know probably sounds insane but really i mean i work in marketing so i think that's another reason why i find all this interesting and advertising can be super duper expensive and sometimes not effective i mean i work in like analyzing advertising to see how effective it was since influencers have a really engaged audience a lot of the times advertising is, is more effective through influencers but they're cheaper because it's just a one person you know production team you're not like hiring out this entire agency to do something so while it seems like a lot of money for a post like the value add that a post that an influencer does for a brand brings is pretty significant and so i honestly thought strategically it was a good idea to have the trip but i think because it got so much backlash online i don't know if it backfired i saw some reports that their sales didn't even increase from the trip which i kind of find hard to believe because i was you know thinking about maybe getting some tart contour or something like that but yeah i mean i guess it didn't increase and someone on tiktok posted that they saw a bunch of jobs open on the tart marketing team and they were like did everyone get fired so i don't know what y'all thought about that i think there's certainly something to say about the excess and i mean i know i've talked about me trying to not like over consume everything definitely feel like there's a better way to do a brand trip where there's not so much excess and so much consumption that it's just so out of touch with reality especially with the recession coming up and there's been so many layoffs i feel like that's a big reason why i got so much backlash but yeah i don't know if y'all are interested in stuff like that so just let me know i have this bubble in my nose and i feel like i didn't always have it i also have a deviated septum and i used to be so insecure about it now kind of like my ear thing if you remember me not wanting to show my ears for a while i feel like i've just gotten more used to it and i'm definitely not against plastic surgery but i just don't really want to have a surgery unless it's necessary because i just feel like there's so many complications that can happen with that i've learned like my nose so if you have any insecurities they are so normal and unless you want to change them for you learn to just be confident about it and like accept yourself who you are i know this sounds cringe but you can literally write yourself affirmations every morning like, i like my nose i like my nose i like my nose like literally write that down on a piece of paper i am such a fan of affirmations okay i'm gonna put on the morning toast to listen to the oscar nominations and everything so i'm very curious and i'll show you guys my outfit before i leave i am headed out the door i gotta run but this is my work fit the sweater is princess polly these are pants i've had forever they're corduroy navy from and other stories i've literally had them since i was 15 and i still like them and then i'm wearing my platform uggs which i'm very excited about because my feet were killing me yesterday and i'm just gonna feel so much better and i feel like with the pants i'm wearing it's like a little bit hard to tell that they're uggs and honestly i think no one in my office cares so many people wear sneakers normal jewelry and yeah this is the fit let's go
god, the train on the way here was literally packed. I've never been in a train that packed before. Literally, it's snowing outside. There's so many people waiting for the bus. I mean, the train. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting in this. And it was so packed. I was the only person from the stop that got on the train. I was like, I have to use my height as an advantage of this situation because the next one wasn't coming for five minutes and I'm already a couple minutes late. But wow, I was like okay. unable to breathe. It was, it was time. Chicago. It's rain, winter mix is what they call it. It's raining but snowing at the same time. It's kind of frustrating because it's above freezing. It's 35 degrees outside. It's snowing but the snow is melting immediately so the pretty winter wonderland I woke up in is no longer existent. I'm headed back early because we basically just had one really long meeting in the morning and then everyone's flight is this afternoon so everyone left at like 1.30. We had a lunch but they didn't have any gluten-free options so I'm probably gonna make something when I get home. I just figured everyone was leaving. I figured I would just go ahead and work from home too the rest of the day. I might end up going to a coffee shop. I feel like I need more caffeine. I did not sleep very well last night. Maybe because I didn't have my humidifier on. It's all coming together. I don't want my camera to get too wet, so see you when I get back. I made it. My makeup is basically done for. I'm just glad I got to come home early because I hate being in rush hour traffic on the train. It's just the worst thing ever. That's why normally if I don't have a set deadline time that I have to get into the office. Like there's no in-person meeting. I normally don't go till 9.30 because the 15 minute difference in the time that I'm waiting to get on the train makes a huge difference. So pro tip, if you have to take the blue line in Chicago, try to avoid rush hour if you can. I think I'm gonna put on something cozy and then run out to probably absento get myself a matcha because i've been having those la cologne cans this week and i love them they taste really good but i just feel like they don't give me enough caffeine even though it says double shot espresso but i mean i still love them so if they want to sponsor me i'm down all right since i wasn't really planning on making a lunch today perks of being gluten-free i'm just having another avocado bagel what i had for breakfast and i'll probably bring a granola bar to the coffee shop and i'm also gonna have a turmeric shot i just love these i feel like they have Help. Could it be a placebo? Maybe, but it's fun and it doesn't hurt and it's not too expensive. Oh, and I just threw on this set from Set Active. So comfortable. Made it to Absento. I ended up getting an iced matcha latte with almond milk and easy vanilla. Very refreshing. I feel like sometimes when it's really cold outside, I honestly like having an ice drink because I'm so bundled up that I need something refreshing. And if I get a hot drink, then I just get way too sweaty. All right, let's tackle some work. I just finished work and I need to make a run over to Blue Mercury to get that skincare that I'm out of. It's really taking everything in me to go do this errand. I really just want to go home and sit on the couch, but we're doing it. I feel like just when it gets dark so early in winter and it's cold and rainy and slushy, all I want to do is be in my apartment. But I really need this skincare because I'm going out of town tomorrow. So here we go. I made it back. Many Blue Mercury haul. I've been loving the Skin Cuticles moisturizer for dry skin. I like using the one for dry skin in the winter because I've learned my skin fluctuates from winter to summer. Winter is dry, summer is oily. I just get the worst of both seasons, I guess. And then the One Love Organics cleansing oil that I feel like I've raved to you guys a million times about. I love her. And I also got in some packages that I'm guessing is PR. So let's unbox those. Here are my little packages. All right, I have no idea what this one is. Honestly, I always get a little bit nervous opening up PR packages. I don't know what they are. I'm like, someone trying to kill me. Oh, this isn't even a PR package. I ordered the Emma Chamberlain Vanilla Matcha. Very excited about this. I thought it came with three canisters because it was $30 for this. That's kind of small. I'm really excited to try this. Maybe I'll try it tomorrow because I love matcha, but it's so hard for me to make my own. And I wanted to try out her powder because it comes with the vanilla mixed in if you get the vanilla flavor. And I just feel like my issue is that when I make it at home, it either tastes way too sweet or not sweet enough. So we'll see how this goes. This I know is PR. Ah! You guys, Liquid IV has noticed me. I am so excited. Wow, they really hooked me up. I got 
so many packets of liquid IV. I'm the liquid IV girl now. I also think they gave me a code. Let me check my email. This is not sponsored at all, by the way. But honestly, this kind of fits in really well because on office days, I really need liquid IV. The two occasions that I desperately need liquid IV are music festivals and office days, corporate office days, which couldn't be any different. But I just get the same level of exhaustion, like being on your feet all day, talking, socializing all day. Often you forget to drink water because you're so invested in something, whether it's dancing at a music festival or being in a meeting. Hopefully by the time I edit this video, they will have given me the code. So I'm gonna email her right now. It should be a discount code and hopefully it will magically appear on the screen. Now, before my boyfriend gets home from work, he's literally been gone all day and I've made such a mess of the apartment. I'm going to clean up a little bit because I literally will blink an eye and the apartment is a wreck. I don't know what I do besides get ready for the day. So let's do this. Sente is home from work and he brought us fried rice again. This is like the third moment I feel like I've vlogged this, maybe the fourth. Get you a guy that will watch Emily in Paris with you. It's now 11 p.m. Time flies by when you're watching Emily in Paris and eating chicken fried rice. And I just realized since I'm out of the office tomorrow, I need to do my automatic email replies, letting clients know that I'll answer the email next week when I'm back. Of course, I end up seeing an email, so I think I'm gonna look into this. Hi, I am OOO for the rest of the week. And I will be back in the office on Monday. Please reach out to X if you have any questions in the meantime. Hope you have a great weekend. Exclamation point. And that's a wrap on work for the week. Very exciting. I was supposed to do some packing today, but I did not get to that. So I will just do that tomorrow. I'll show you guys in my next vlog everything that I'm packing for the ski trip. I am literally so excited. Oh, also, I feel like I've shown you these before, but these are my PJs from Skims. I'll link them down below. I try to link down below as many of the clothes that I'm wearing in my vlogs as I can. I'm gonna go to bed pretty soon. I need to remember to turn on the humidifier tonight. For the longest time, we were putting it on the ground and it was making the floor soaking wet in the morning. And then I Googled it and apparently you're not not supposed to put humidifiers on the ground you're supposed to keep them like higher up so now i have it on this little green table that normally goes in the living room i need to figure out a cuter way to store this also random but i got this hatch alarm clock for christmas i feel like i unboxed it for you guys before and i said i was gonna unbox it in an upcoming vlog but i still just have not had the time to figure this out and undo it and everything but i really want to do this the week that i get back so stay tuned for the hatch alarm clock review and everything it's also almost the end of the month so i'm gonna need to start reviewing my january goals and like reevaluating and everything really soon Wait which is crazy. I can't believe a whole year has already gone by. I definitely have not been reading like I said I was going to, but I'm hoping this ski trip gives me the opportunity to read. I really want to. I've been like staring at this all week, but I just haven't had the time to read it. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I will see you guys tomorrow in my next vlog, but it'll be a few days from now when you're watching this. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, I post every Sunday and Wednesday and also check out my Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. Bye.